डियर फ्रेंड्स ई एम डॉक्टर कन्नन प्रोफेसर मेकानिकल इंजीनियरिंग कैर कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ई एम हैप्पी टू मीट यू अगेन थ्रू दि वीडियो लेक्चर इन दि सब्जेक्ट प्रॉडक्ट लाइफ सैकल मैनेजमेंट सो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर टू इन दि सेकेंड यूनिट पी एल एम पी डी एम फंक्शन अंड फीचर्स द टापिक फार दि डिस्कशन इज डाकुमेंट मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम so the document management is a process is the process of storing organizing and the managing documents document related to the product so we are discussing about the product life cycle management in that product data management is the subset so the product document management is the process of storing we have to store the document details of the product and we have to properly organize the document arrangement arrangement of the document and we have to manage the documents so it is a critical part of plm pdm plm is product life cycle management pdm is the product data management as it ensures that all product documentation documentation is stored in certain location and it is easily accessible to the user so it should be stored in the central location and easily accessible so the customers users or customers they can easily identify the document that is what the accessible meaning for the accessible document management system typically include features there are three different features such as version control check in and check out details and the search capabilities so version control for any product there will be version Uh, for example uh, industry 1.0 industry uh, 2.0 industry 3.0 industry 4.0 so 4.0 now people are talking about industry 4.0 that is the change in the version and similarly you take any uh, electronic component there are change in the version apple phone number we have different versions of apple phone uh, we have different versions of the any kind of mobile phone that is what the version version control and check in check out when the document is entering into the system and when it is leaving from the system that is what check in check out details and the search capabilities so how quickly you can search and identify the document that is what the search capabilities so de depending on the the volume of the information and the details what we are searching for so in the context of plm the document management is essential for ensuring that all the product document is accessible secure controlled traceable there are four important features they are accessible they are secure safe and easily it is controlled properly and they are traceable easily locatable or the traceable so all product documentation should be easily accessible to the users so the regardless of their location or role in the product development process so whatever may be the reason it should be easily identifiable reachable by the customer so it is easily accessible then secure all product documentation should be stored securely there should not be damaged there should not be corrupted so there should not be any corruption of the data there should not be any damage of the data it should be stored safely that is what secure to protect it from the unauthorized access or the modification so the for customers or the people they require the data they are they should they should have, they should have some authentication unauthorized person they should not access to it or they should not access or they should not do any modification the data only the authorized person uh, should uh, uh, modify or should retrieve the information that is what the secure controlled all changes to to product documentation should be tracked and controlled to ensure that latest version of the documentation is always available so any modification should be properly updated so updation of the version updation of the documentation is very important nowadays in the electronic world in the digital world updation is very important so in the product data now majority of the product data in this in the form of digital form nowadays so it should be updated properly and it should be controlled properly 
and traceable. The history of change of product documentation should be traceable to facilitate audit and the investigation. And this is a simple diagram. For example, on the, suppose there is a question, a document management system, this diagram is essential. So, storage, what are the uh, components? Storage, annotations, document check-in, check-out, version control, audit trials, security and access control. Storage, so document uh, storage is very important, storing the information. Annotations, details about the documents, various types of documents, various types of document and the details of the document. Complete details about the document is what called as annotation. Document check-in, check-out time, check-in, check-out details. So when the document is entering into the system and when it is uh, taken out, when there is a change in the version, everything. Then version control. So the change, change in version and the details about the version control, the change of document due to the version control, everything, version, everything we have to collect and store here. And audit trials. So we, 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 pro, we occasionally or regularly, we verify the availability of the document. That is what the audit. Audit is verifying the availability of the document. So we have to verify, that is what the audit trials. And details about the verification, time of verification, what are the document verified, everything we have to audit properly. And the security, access control. So access control is by authority. So authentication. So only authenticated people, they can, they can store, control or access to the data. That is what the various components of document management system. Storage, annotations, document check-in and check-out, version control, audit trials, and security and access control. So document management system, PLM, can be implemented in variety of ways. Some of the common approaches using document management system, DMS. So a DMS is a software application that is specifically designed for storing, organizing and management document, managing document. So DMS is typically include features such as version control, check-in, check-out and the search capabilities. The content management system, a CMS, right, is a software application that is designed to for managing digital content such as web pages, images, videos. So CMS can also be used to store and manage product documentation. So document management system DMS and CMS. Then using the combination of DMS and CMS. So this approach combines the strengths of both the DMS and CMS. So DMS are used to store the store and manage sensitive product documentation while CMS are used to store and manage the non-sensitive product documentation. So these two methods, these two techniques are implemented in the PLM, document management in the PLM. And the, the complexity or the challenges in the document management system. What are the challenges? The cost, complexity and the change management. The cost, document management system is costly investment due to the need for the software, hardware and the training. So it requires some investment. So the initial cost of the document management system is costly. But uh, for any huge organization uh, which is focusing on the development and the improvement, uh, necessarily we have to invest. So the cost, we have to invest so that th then only you can find some uh, improvement or the development in the business. Complexity, document management system is complex system to implement and manage because variety of information, uh, quantity of information, uh, 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 details of the information because of the various details volume of the details it is complex change management document management system document manager requires significant change in the management such as users need to be trained on how to use the system and how to manage the document so the training proper training is required uh, for using the uh, use training is required for using and maintaining managing the document management system so, with this I stop here. This is the important question. Document management system is an important question. So, the, you, can, you can refer to your notes for the documents. So, we will meet again in another video lecture in the PLM. Until then, bye.